Question two in this game, question seven overall in the section, simply reads, which of the following cannot be true? So for this particular question, we're not given any new information. We're not told anything specific to this question. So the best we can do is take the information that we've already been given and try to match it up against the answer choices. The answer choices are A, Harvest is the last film shown on each day of the festival. B, Limelight is shown on each day of the festival. C, Greed is shown second on each day of the festival. D, a different film is shown first on each day of the festival. And E, a different film is shown last on each day of the festival. So you'll notice that each of the answer choices has a slightly different structure. And we need to think about, well, where do we really want to start looking at these answer choices? Do we want to go in order from A to E? Do we want to think about what's easiest to approach? You know, what do we want to do here? Now, because the question asks which one of the following cannot be true, four of these are going to be fine. We'll try to place them and we won't reach a contradiction. The correct answer choice when we try to place this information in a scenario, we will in fact reach a contradiction and we will reach something that for sure breaks one of these rules. So in that sense, the most appealing answer choices to try are the ones that are the most limiting because in order to break a rule, you have to actually be able to trigger a rule. In order to trigger a rule, you have to be able to actually place things under our Thursday, Friday, and Saturday headings. So if we look at choice A, for example, it says harvest is the last film shown on each day of the festival. So we at least know how to place that information. And we can say, does this work? I'm just going to put a dotted line before it to remind myself that if a second film or a third film is shown on any of these days, it can only come before H. So let's look at the rules and see what else we can fill in. So each film is shown at least once. Not sure what to do with that yet. Films don't repeat once per day. Not sure what to do with that yet. H is on Thursday and nothing is after. Well, that's fine. We've already incorporated that. G or L, but not both, are on Friday and none is after. So either G or L has to go on Friday. Well, the only place given the setup to put G or L is here. But then that breaks the none after part of the rule. And we actually see that this first answer choice here is the one that cannot be true. So in a way, we were given a gift with this particular question in that we don't even have to look at the rest of these. And we can say, oh, we found our answer right away, and we can move on. So for this question, the correct answer is, in fact, A. For the purposes of explanation, let's go through the other answer choices and see how you would just hit a wall. You wouldn't get to a contradiction. You would run out of things to place, and you would just have to throw up your hands and say, I don't know. So let's see what happens, because those are the answer choices that you're going to want to have to feel confident in crossing off. So for example, answer choice B, limelight is shown on each day of the festival. Okay. That's easy enough to place. Well, let's go through our rules. Each film is shown at least once. Not sure what to do with that. Films don't repeat more than once per day. Not sure what to do with that. H is on Thursday and nothing comes after. So we're going to have to place H like this. But now that's fine. One of G or L has to be on Friday and nothing after. So that just says, well, L is already there. So this just says that we can't have G and we can't have anything after. But that seems fine. Exactly one of G or H has to be on Saturday and nothing comes after. So we've got to have either G or H over here. So, but again, that seems fine. The only thing that could potentially go wrong is that each film has to be shown at least once. But we definitely have L, H, and if we stick this one as G, then we've satisfied that rule. And this seems fine. Given that this seems fine, 
we can let it go as something that could be true and only come back to it if we haven't found our answer choice that breaks for sure. Let's look at choice C. Choice C says greed is shown second on each day of the festival. So that means that we have a situation that looks like this. Again, each film shown at least once, not sure what to do. Films don't repeat more than once per day, not sure what to do. H is on Thursday and nothing comes after. Okay. Just because we said that G was second on each day of the festival, we didn't necessarily say that G was last. So in this case, in order to satisfy this rule, we just put H on Thursday after G. And then we know that L has to be stuck here, so the G is in fact second. But this in itself doesn't break any rules. So we have to have exactly one of G and L on Friday. Okay, we have one here, and we just can't put anything after. Okay, that's fine. That means that we have to have a second slot, and this can't be L, so this has to be H. But that's not breaking any rules. We have to have exactly one of G and H on Saturday. Well, we do. And we can't have anything after. So we have to then put the L here to satisfy this G going second rule. But again, this scenario satisfies all the rules. And also satisfies the rules in such a way the greed is shown second on each day of the festival. So in response to the question, which of the following cannot be true, this is not what we're looking for. Choice D reads, a different film is shown first on each day of the festival. I don't even know. I don't even know what to do with that because the information is not concrete enough for me to even place something under my Thursday, Friday, and Saturday headings. So in that sense, this answer choice is not even an appealing answer choice. So I would only look at this one if I absolutely had to, meaning I had looked at all the other answer choices first and not found what I was looking for. The same thing goes for answer choice E. Answer choice E reads, a different film is shown last on each day of the festival. Again, I don't even know how to place that, so I wouldn't even look at those answer choices until I realized that I, in fact, had to. And in this case, I most certainly don't have to because I already found my correct answer here. In addition, one other thing that you can do to answer this type of question, when you're asked which of the following cannot be true, you can keep in mind that you have an example of something that, in fact, can be true left over from the first question in the game. So I've written here, just to remind you, what this situation that actually satisfies all the rules is. So when we're saying which of the following cannot be true, we can also judge that against something that we know works here. And sometimes that'll help us easily get rid of a couple of answer choices. In this case, we're saying which of the following cannot be true Harvest is the last film shown on each day of the festival. Well, we don't know because the situation is not relevant to that. Choice B, limelight is shown on each day of the festival. Again, this situation is not relevant to that information. Choice C, greed is shown second on each day of the festival. Again, this situation is not relevant. D, a different film is shown first on each day of the festival. Oh. For the fourth time, the situation is not relevant. However, you know, before you give up hope, if you look at choice E, choice E says a different film is shown last on each day of the festival. Well, this situation here is relevant to that because we have H last, L last, and G last. So if we're asking which one of the following cannot be true, we know that E is not the correct answer simply because we have something from the question before that satisfies that rule that we showed could be true. 